Hi guys, today we are going to talk about the process of batching, that is mixing of concrete. Uh, we are going to talk to the guys who are doing it at our project. Hi, I'm Sally, here at the batch plant with engineer Gertrude and our operator. Now, now, like in our concrete mix design proportions sheet, we have we, we always cast according to type of structure and structure part. Now, like concrete class 15, we always cast blinding. Like class 20, 25, mostly is for box, box calvert. Again, it, it depends with the cement type of cement you're using. That then we have for class 30 whereby we cast bridge and pre-cast pre beams. The, the, the above I've been, I've been mentioning, it has been the design mix for, for concrete. We want it one to be casted. After there, it is casted according to the class, according to the class given and structure part. After the cast process has been done, it is discharged to, to the mixer and rotation is done to, to mix well the, the, the concrete. Then, then we check the slump to check water cement ratio as, as per design. First, I'm Korodi Abram, a batching plan operator, stroke a GCS operator. Uh, I want to go to through, through the batching process before I start mixing concrete. At first, I have to put the button on in order the system to be on. Second, I have to make sure the conveyor belt is rotating before I put the aggregate material as per given design. Then, after there, I have to start with the mixing chamber. I start the mixing chamber so that it will rotate. Then, I will go to the proportion measurement according to the classes given. Measuring the proportion design for aggregate according to the kgs, I have to measure the water that will be used during casting of concrete. So I have to put the material for aggregate being measured to the upper before taking it out. The mixing chamber then at the mixing chamber I have to put water then allowed allowed it to give a mix like for three mi three minutes before I discharge it to the truck mixer
two types of cement that we are using during casting of concrete. We have Mombasa cement and Savannah cement. For Savannah cement, we do use it for long distance kilometers. Then we add admixer. We put the admixer to the concrete so that the workability of the concrete will remain the same at the batching plant in the field. So after finishing casting concrete, I have to make sure the machine is clean so that we can use it another day. At first, I have to put water at the mixing chamber so that the remaining of the concrete should be mixed with water before I discharge it to the shovel or buckle to be taken to the dumping site. You have to stockpile your materials to make sure that you have a constant supply. That's all about batch plan and its procedures. Bye. 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 Bye.